Hey, what's up everybody? Guinea Piggies Designs here. And today I'm finally gonna be doing a winner reveal. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but basically what this video is gonna be really quick, I mean, is I'm just going to like update you guys of what's been going on. I'm also, after this, after I tell you guys the update, I'm gonna be going through all the cozies I made this month. And then I'm going to be announcing a winner. Now, when I announce the winner, I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently, but I'll get into that in a minute. And then at the very end of the video, I am going to be doing a brand new giveaway, just like I always do. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the update. So basically, I haven't uploaded in, I think like two months. <laughs> And I, it just a lot's been going on. Um, unfortunately, I did lose my brother from a bad car accident early March. So that kind of really like put me behind or kind of put me in a bad place. So I, I just wasn't able to upload and I was busy with school trying to finish that up. Oh, but anyways, I'm feeling, you know, a little bit better. So I want to get back into making videos, doing tutorials, you know, that type of thing. I'm going to try to upload more. But I mean, I'm just taking it day by day, seeing how it goes, but um, I'm sure you all can understand. So thank you for that. I know before I told you guys I was starting a new job and I did, but unfortunately, I mean, it just didn't work out just because of what happened and I just wasn't able to put my all in it. So right now I've just been focusing on basically sewing things to keep my mind busy. So when I show you guys the cozies, I have a whole bunch that I made over the couple of past months. So I'm going to be showing you guys that next. Otherwise, the guinea pigs, they're doing really good. They're still healthy and happy. So my two dogs are doing good. I did finish school. I finally got my associate's degree, so I'm kind of excited about that. I go back to school in um, August, I guess, because I'm going to try to go and get my bachelor's degree. So that should be fun. But for now, I'm basically like just taking a break, trying to sew. So hopefully I have more time to upload videos, that sort of thing. Basically, that was all the updates I just wanted to quickly fill you guys in on and I want to thank you guys for sticking around. Anyway, so now I am going to be showing you guys the cozies that I made this month. All right, so I'm going to stand to the side here. Okay, so basically these are <laughs> all the cozies I made this month. So there's a quite a bit of stuff here that I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to try to get through it quickly so I can get on to announce the winner to the giveaway. Um, If any of you are interested in any of these cozies, I'm going to have my shop links linked down below. I'm also going to go through them all and tell you the prices and all that. So one of the first items I've made the past couple of months is this unicorn cuddle cup. Now, the outside of this cuddle cup is made out of a unicorn flannel. The inside is made out of this uh, blue and green chevron print. This has been a really popular print. And then of course it comes with two pads that are already in it. See, one, two. So it comes with two pads. And I'm not gonna go ahead and say what it's made out of and all that because I already explained all that in my last like live videos and in my tutorials. So I'm just gonna get, just so I can go through these quick quicker so this video doesn't take forever. I'm just going to show you and tell you the price and yeah. Okay, so anyways, this, go, this, this one goes in my shop for around $30. So this is the cuddle cup. The next item I have available is this cube and it's also made out of that unicorn flannel and but this one the inside is made out of a red and pink chevron fleece. So it's just like the other one but it's just different color. And then it has these ribbons if you want to hook it to your cage. And then this cube goes for $50 in my shop. So here's the cube. The last unicorn item I have is this large hay bag. Now this hay bag I did make a little bit differently. I've used this fabric before. I mean like the inside fabric. It's like a pool fabric. This kind of fabric is like the type of fabric that you know you see lunch boxes. The inside of lunch boxes lined with. And I like it because it's waterproof so water is going to just slide right off of it. And it also will keep your hay fresh because there's no, it's not, it's not an airy type of fabric. So it's going to keep everything in there sealed. And I'm sorry if you hear um, any background noise. I guess people are outside mowing the, mowing the grass. <laughs> okay, anyways. But anyways, yeah, it's made out of this pool fabric. And the outside made out of the unicorn flannel. I used a different color changing thread at the top here. Comes with two hooks. And then this one goes for $30 in my shop. So here is the unicorn hay bag. The next 
thing I have available in my shop is this My Little Pony hay bag. Now this is made out of like a purpley pink lavender uh, My Little Pony cotton. And the inside is lined with this really cool neon like orange non-rip nylon, which is another slippery fabric, which allows the hay to slide down easy. And then this one goes in my shop for $30. The next item I have, this one I just finished making not too long ago. I just posted it on Instagram, but this is a woodland animal cotton the outside is made out of. And the inside is made out of this micro fleece, which is really, it's like regular fleece, but softer. And it's, I mean, it's like this really cool multicolored polka dot. And there's two pads. And actually these pads are made out of one layer of 4D Zorb. For those of you who don't know what the 4D Zorb is, just because it's I just kind of started using it. I mean, not really, I've been using it for a while, but 4D Zorb has like this antibacterial technology in it that prevents odors. And this material also absorbs 10 times more than U-Haul and it's way more durable and all that jazz. This lounge in my shop goes for $50 and I'll zoom up on the print. Just a really cute woodland print. So next things I'm going to show you are the hooded houses I've made. I've had this like tropical bird hooded house. I really love this fleece. It's a really pretty print, I think. And it comes with two removable pads already in it. And this goes for $50 in my shop. So here is the colorful bird hooded house. So this is another one I just made. This one is a super cute llama and like cactuses, mountains fleece in the inside is made out of like this light blue fleece that matches the llamas because the llamas as you can see have light blue like curls for their hair so I, I wanted to match that color I thought the two colors look good together and this one too comes with two removable pads it's ready in there and then this one goes for $50 in my shop here is the llama hooded house all right, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is this Tropical Bird Squishy Couch. This is a reversible couch. So you, one side is the Tropical Bird and the other side is uh, green. And it comes with two pads on there and two pillows. And this one goes for $60 in my shop. So you see the Squishy Couch, this is one of my best selling items. All right, so I'm gonna turn my camera this way just because I have a whole bunch of these. And what these are right here, they are clearance snuggle tunnels. See, my clearance snuggle tunnels, I lined the inside of them with a thin layer of batting. And these go for $15 each. How the clearance tunnels work is when you go to the listing and try to order one, what you do, what, what will happen is you're going to get a random snuggle tunnel, a random print of my choice. And each tunnel here, just so you guys know, is a different tunnel. None of these tunnels are the same. Each one is a different color, different fleece on the inside. I wanted to make sure that if I made these, if someone wanted to order multiple, got something different. Here's the My Little Pony one. But anyways, yeah, just random prints clearance 15 bucks each. All right, and the last items I have available, these are not in my shop yet. But once I finish this one, I need to add that last seam around it. Once I finish this one, I'm gonna post them to my shop. But um, here's a finished one. You see how it has the seam all around it? It's a super cute llama print, just like the hooded house, but this one has the ma matching magenta on the inside. And these both come with two removable pads. There's one here and here's some more pads. These two go with that one and this one goes with the other one, but yeah. And these cuddle cups are going to be going for $30 in my shop. So now I'm gonna get into telling you guys about the winner reveal. All right, so for this month's winner reveal giveaway, how I'm gonna do this is since I have not uploaded in two months, there's gonna be a winner for March, there's gonna be a winner for April, and there's gonna be a winner for May. So decided to do May in this video just because it's almost the 22nd and the 22nd is when I usually try to upload the uh, the winner reveals if that makes any sense. So how I'm going to do this is the last three in this bucket are going to be the three winners. Once I start pulling out the last of the winners, I'm going to be showing you what each one of you won. I'm not allowing anyone to claim what they won, but I'm just going to assign the item to whoever I pull out. 
first, if that makes sense. Okay, so anyways, here's all the entries. So what I'm doing here is I'm mixing them up because there's so many entries that they just fall out if I mix them in this. This is gonna be completely random. And again, the last three people I pull from this bucket are gonna be my winners. Another side note, for those of you who don't watch my winner reveal videos, uh, how I do this is for those of you who follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and if you put your username in last month's uh, question, when you answered the last month's question, um, each one is a different entry. So on these papers, like I wrote, if it was an Instagram, a YouTube, or a Twitter, you know, so forth, what kind of entry it was, just so for everyone watching, you know that I counted your entry. And for entries that don't count, this time I did comment on, on your last comment on my live video, the last one I did. I did tell you which ones weren't counted because so I do check every single entry to make sure um, you're following me or that type of thing because I guess I have nothing better to do. Anyways, <laughs> okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get into picking out names. And I know this is gonna be kind of long, so I'm gonna try to go through it quickly. All right, so the first person, the first person to be eliminated is Snuggle Monster. So Snuggle Monster, you only had one entry. So you are eliminated, so sorry. Next person is Courtney Lohman, and that is your Twitter entry. So I wrote your name and then I wrote Twitter under it. So that entry is eliminated. Christine Brownrig, this is your Instagram entry. L. Caddy, AKA, AKA Harriet, that's your Facebook entry. Christine Brownrigg, your YouTube entry, entry. Grace Tavio, Taveo, sorry if I said your name wrong. This is your YouTube entry. Colleen Maha, sorry if I said your name wrong, and that was your YouTube entry. Kelly Steffens. And that is your Facebook entry. Isa Huniak. Sorry if I said your name wrong. And that is your YouTube entry. Christine Norton. That's your Instagram entry. Kelly Steffens. That's your YouTube entry. I think you might be eliminated, Kelly. I'm not sure if you have any more entries. So I think I pulled you out twice, but let's keep going. Uh, Colleen Moho, that was your Snapchat entry. I'm just pulling these out at random. Lucy, sorry, Lucy Lannon. Sorry if I say your name wrong. I have trouble pronouncing double N's. So, anyways, you're eliminated. Next one is Mel's Fur Babies. That is your Twitter entry. It's all sticking together. All right, next person is Mel... Mills Fur Babies again, that's your Instagram entry. I'm sorry, I tried mixing them up really good. I hate when I pull out the same name twice. Okay, next one to be eliminated is Beth Wallace, that's your YouTube entry. In entry, <laughs> your YouTube entry. Next person is Ivory Canary, that's your YouTube entry. Next person is Love Small Animals. That's your YouTube entry. Beth Wallace, Facebook entry. Beth Wallace, Instagram entry. I keep pulling out the same name. I'm trying to mix them up good. Okay. Each time I pull out the same name, I'm just trying to make sure they're mixed up really good. Okay. Next person is Piggies Let's, and that's your Facebook entry. DC Kitten, sorry DC Kitten, that was your only entry, so you are eliminated. Mel's Fur Babies Facebook. I'm sorry, Mel's, I'm not sure if you have another entry in here. You might be eliminated. Okay, next person is Michelle Hodge. That is her Twitter entry. Beth Wallace, Snapchat entry. Logan W, Instagram entry. 
these are falling out. Kristen Norton, YouTube entry. Piggies Let's, Twitter entry. Isabella B. So Isabella, this is your only entry, so you are eliminated. Logan W, YouTube entry. Oh, let me go out. Put that back in. We got Courtney Lohman, Snapchat entry. You know, I'm trying to pull one from the bottom. Okay. Prilla 13, YouTube entry. Christine Brownrigg, Facebook entry. Mel's Fur Baby Snapchat entry. All right, Mel's, that might have been your last one. I'm so sorry, girl. All right, next one is Isa Huniak, Facebook entry. Keep going out. Riley Todd, Instagram entry. E. Kalinowski. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. Um, but anyways, uh, E. Kalinowski, you are eliminated. You only had one entry. All right, next person is Love Small Animals, Instagram entry. Michelle Hodge, Instagram entry. Barbara Link, YouTube entry. Prilla13, Instagram entry. Colleen Mulhall, Instagram entry. Piggies Let's YouTube entry. Trying to pull out one. Sa Samia Ghazi. Sorry if I said your name wrong. <laughs> YouTube entry. Riley Todd. YouTube entry. Courtney Lohman. YouTube entry. Smarty Marty. Sorry, Smarty. This was your only entry, so you're eliminated. All right, we've got Isa Huniak, Twitter entry. Alexia Alf Alferes. Alfer Alfer so I don't know. I'm sorry, Alexa, but you're eliminated. This is your only entry. Paradise Piggies. This was your only entry, so you're eliminated. Timmy, Facebook, so, you, so that, there's that one. Next one is Barbara Lank, Facebook entry. Shasta Pitts, sorry Shasta, that was your only entry, so you're eliminated. Okay, still got quite a bit more. Oh, I'm trying to grab one. Mel's Fur Babies, YouTube entry. Lanny M. Sorry, Lanny, that was your only entry, so you are eliminated. Logan W. Facebook entry. Michelle Hodge. YouTube entry. Malin Love. Sorry, this is a hard one. Malin Lofven. Instagram entry. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Courtney Lohman, Instagram entry. Love Small Animals, Snapchat entry. Colleen Mulhall, Facebook entry. Is me Mc... Sorry, that's another hard one. Is me McKinley House, YouTube entry. L Caddy, AKA Harriet, YouTube entry. Samia Ghazi, Snapchat entry. Love Small Animals, Facebook entry. Okay, I'm able to mix them now. All right, next one is Ivory Canary, Twitter entry. Timmy, YouTube entry. Christine Brownrick, Twitter entry. Grace Tavio, Tavio, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong, Instagram entry. Riley Todd, Snapchat entry. Ivory Canary, Instagram entry. 
Samia Ghazi Insta Instagram entry. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Samia Ghazi Twitter entry. Sorry, we got twice. Wow. Okay, we still got one, two, three, four, five, five. So I'm gonna pull out two more, and the last three in here are gonna be um, the winners. So next person to be eliminated is. Malin Lofvin YouTube entry. Oh, so sorry, Malin. You guys close. I'm not sure if you have another entry in here, though. Okay, next person to be, or last person to be eliminated. Let me make sure there's three. Okay, so last person to be eliminated is Caitlin Sandoval. So sorry, Caitlin. That was your only entry, too. Okay, so these are the last three people in the bucket here, these three. So how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna show you the prize and then I'm gonna pick a random to see who won it. So the first thing I'm giving away are these five SpongeBob potty pads. I do have a tutorial where I taught you guys how to make these. I'll link that down below if you're interested for March giveaway. The winner of these SpongeBob pads is Mixing them, mixing them. L Caddy, aka, uh, sorry, L Caddy, aka Harriet, and that was your Instagram entry. So, L Caddy, you are the winner of the five SpongeBob potty pads. Next item I'm giving away, I know this is kind of iffy, like giving away cage liners because you don't know, I don't know what size cages you guys have, but I'm just going with it. So this is a two by four cage liner. It's recommended to go in a two by four CNC cage. It's made out of this really super soft um, camo fleece. The other side is made out of a black fleece. There is seven seams sewed into it. And it's hard to show on camera because this is a very big cage liner and it's lined with two layers of U-Haul plus two layers of bamboo batting. Here's the next two people. So the winner, of this two by four cage liner is ooh, mixing it, mixing it. Oh, let's grab this one. Okay, so the winner is wow, Isa Huniak. You won this two by four cage liner. So I think you won one of my giveaways, not the last one, but the one before that. And I remember, I don't think you have no, maybe this will fit in your cage because I remember you sent me a picture of your cage, but I forgot if it was well. Either way, I mean, um, hopefully you can upgrade the size of your cage or you could use it for floor time, that type of thing. So, Isa, you won the 2x4 cage liner. The last item I'm giving away is this squishy couch here. It's made out of a camo fleece and black fleece, same as this cage liner. The winner is right here in my hands. So the winner of the squishy couch is Piggy's. Let's, I think your name is Tyra, if I remember correctly. Piggy's Let's, uh, you won the squishy couch here. Congratulations. So again, congratulations to Piggy's Let's, Isa, and El Caddy, aka, Her AKA Harriet. So anyways, for those of you who won the giveaway, go ahead and message me at guineapiggiesdesigns at gmail.com or message me on Facebook. So either one of those two is fine by me. And my Facebook is Guinea Piggies Designs. If you're curious, I'll have how to contact me linked down below in the description. I wanna thank everyone who entered the past few months. I know there are a lot of entries and I know I was trying to go through it really quickly and I usually do these videos live, but since um, there are so many entries, I wanted to edit this video just so it's not super long for you guys and it looks, more put together. So for those of you who are still watching, uh, I am going to be doing another giveaway. This is going to be June's giveaway. I'm going to be announcing a new winner June 22nd or around June 22nd. How the new giveaway is going to work is I'm going to ask you the monthly question and what you do is you answer the monthly question, which I'm going to tell you in a minute, down below in the comments. And if you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, or Twitter, put your usernames in your answer down below and you'll get extra entries for each one of those that you follow me on. Okay, so this month's question is, what is your guinea pig 
or whatever small animal you have. If you don't have a small animal, just what is your pet's favorite toy? And if you can, put links to where um, other people can get those toys, that sort of thing. I'm just curious to see um, what kind of toys your guinea pigs like or your small animals like, because I know some of you have rats and that sort of thing. And also make sure in the question that you tell me what type of pet you use it for. You know, just because a lot of people here watch my videos because they own guinea pigs. And I know certain things aren't safe for other animals, if that makes any sense. So make sure you say what pet you use it for. And if you can provide a link to where you got your pet toy or that sort of thing, that would be really helpful, really nice. But all you have to do this month is just tell me what your pet's favorite toy is and where you got it. Got it and what kind of pet it is just so we know what kind of pet you're using it for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, thank you to those who watched this video and stuck around and waited for me to upload a new video. I really appreciate it. But anyways, I wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, 